today uh, we will see in detail the time independent perturbation theory uh, both first order and second order perturbation theory in detail first we will see the first order time independent perturbation uh, for that we will uh, take the take our popular example that particle in a box problem uh, we have a particle inside the box which is having the length uh, with a box length is a this y axis is the uh, potential uh, so uh, now at a particular point of time we are uh, uh, disturbing the uh, system uh, you can see this small pump so we are better with this system we are going to find out the perturbed wave function and perturbed energy uh, particularly we are going to find the first order uh, perturbation and the second order perturbation uh, we know the uh, Eigen value equation is uh, H get psi n is equal to E n uh, get psi n. Uh, now you you include that H you can separate into two part. One is H naught that is unperturbed Hamiltonian, and the other one is the perturbed Hamiltonian uh, H prime with the multiplication factor lambda. Uh, lambda has its own important we have discussed uh, so many times so so that we can write the h prime in terms of powers uh, of lambda uh, so now you take the perturbed wave function and the energy levels that is psi of n particle in the box that is nth wave, uh, nth state wave function is uh, psi n zero this is first uh, term is unperturbed wave function plus uh, lambda times uh, psi, uh, psi n1 plus lambda squared uh, psi n2 plus it will go on. Similarly, the uh, perturbed energy e, of, uh, e sub n is equal to E n0. This is first term is unperturbed energy. Uh, plus uh, lambda times e n uh, e sub n uh, one plus lambda squared e, e n uh, two plus it will go up uh, like that up to n twist. Uh, we are restricting uh, restricting our uh, discussion within first uh, two energy corrections that is up to lambda squared. Substitute this uh, in the wave equation. H psi n, uh, which is equal to uh, E n psi n. Uh, so H is replaced by H naught plus lambda H prime psi, psi n, which is equal to E n psi n. Now you replace the psi n by this, which I have shown in the red color rectangular box. So this will be psi n uh, zero, the right hand side, H naught plus uh, lambda times H, H prime. Uh, this term uh, psi n0 plus lambda psi n1 lambda squared psi n2 and it will go up and the right hand side e n psi n here e n can be written as e n0 plus lambda e n1 plus lambda squared e n2 plus it will go like that and uh, of course psi n can be written as psi n0 plus lambda psi n1 plus uh, lambda squared psi psi n2 and it will go up just now we got this expression uh, now what we are going to do is the uh, coefficient of successive power of lambda on both side of uh, this equation must be equal uh, equating the coefficient of uh, same power of lambda we obtain first you take uh, lambda power zero that is uh, the terms without lambda both uh, the left hand side and the right hand side in the left hand side the terms without lambda is here you have h naught and you have uh, psi naught uh, psi a sub n zero so that's what i have uh, taken here in the left hand side there is no other term without lambda you can see and similarly, the right hand side, uh, you have 
e sub n zero without lambda and here uh, psi uh, sub n zero. So no other term, uh, there is no other term without lambda. So uh, I have taken this e n of zero psi n zero in the right hand side. This is the unperturbed state. That is, Kachnath is unperturbed Hamiltonian. When it acts on unperturbed wave function, you will get unperturbed energy eigenstate E n uh, with this uh, unperturbed eigen wave function. Now, uh, similarly, we can see uh, we can see for lambda of power one uh, in the left hand side. Uh, we can see uh, with lambda power one. First, you take H naught. H naught uh, here you have lambda. H naught uh, psi n one is the first term. Uh, that is H naught if you multiply this with this. Uh, so here uh, lambda power one. Uh, H naught uh, psi n one you will get. First term is uh, H naught psi n one. Then next term is lambda h prime psi naught n so if you multiply this h prime here you have lambda with this psi n zero this is same lambda here in the left hand side you have the same thing h prime uh, psi n zero these two terms contain only lambda uh, so similarly in the right hand side you can see e n zero so uh, en0 uh, multiplied with this lambda psi n1 so if this is lambda power 1 so uh, psi n1 en0 uh, psi n1 you will get lambda the next term is here you have second term lambda uh, so here the first term is en0 psi n1 then next here you have lambda e1 lambda e1 and here uh, psi n zero so here also lambda power one if you multiply this with this so that is e n one uh, psi n zero that uh, which i have shown in yellow color highlight so i am getting that as uh, second term here uh, similarly we will compare the lambda square uh, lambda square in the right hand side you take h naught then uh, you take this H naught. Then uh, lambda power 2 means here you have psi n 2. Uh, psi n 2. So you will get H naught psi n 2 here. H naught psi n 2. So, then similarly, lambda H prime. So here H prime, you take this lambda into lambda, lambda squared, you will get. That is uh, psi n 1. If you multiply this, uh, sec, uh, this term and the second term inside the bracket, you will get lambda lambda squared. Uh, that is H prime. You can see H prime uh, psi n1. Similarly, now you come to the right hand side. That is En0. Then uh, this En0, if you multiply this with uh, psi n2, uh, then you have lambda square. So that is the first term in the right hand side. Uh, similarly, lambda E n1, you multiply this with this lambda, you will get lambda square. Uh, so lambda uh, E n1 uh, multiplied with the psi n1. In that case also, you will get lambda square. Next, this lambda square, E n of 2, if you multiply this with uh, psi n0, uh, you will get this term uh, that is en2 uh, uh, multiplied by psi n0 this is uh, when you are comparing the lambda squared term so we got uh, the term with lambda power 0 lambda power 1 lambda power 2 then we will simplify this uh, by comparing the lambda power 1 term we got this expression we have seen this in at the beginning of my lecture. Now what uh, we are going to do is you take the first uh, term and move it to the right hand side because uh, right hand side you have another 
sai yen na bon here sai yen na bon so uh, you can bring this uh, to the right hand side similarly uh, you can see sai yen not here so you bring uh, uh, yen na bon sai yen zero to left hand side then you will get uh, this first, uh, second term h prime this will become minus yen one uh, psi n zero because fourth term contains psi n zero. So uh, I am writing in the form of get notation. So uh, get similarly in the right hand side we have e n zero minus uh, h naught. This when you bring this here it, you will get minus h naught and uh, psi n of one is a common. So I am uh, writing this in get notation psi n one. Uh, take the inner product with the unperturbed wave, uh, wave vector uh, that is uh, psi n zero so if you take inner product with uh, psi n of zero then you can sep uh, separate this into two part uh, that is in the left hand side one with the uh, h prime the another one is e n of one since e n of uh, one is a uh, 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 number you can take out of this inner product here you cannot take because a h prime is there. Similarly, in the right hand side, uh, you will get a e n of zero. Uh, then uh, e n of since e n of zero is a number, I am taking out. Then you take the inner product with uh, psi n zero. So psi n zero with uh, psi n one minus this h naught. Uh, that is uh, psi n zero because I am taking inner product with uh, psi n zero. Uh, h naught uh, psi n one. Uh, now you uh, see the right hand side. In the right hand side, you can see the first term. You cannot do anything because you don't have any idea about what will happen when the perturbed Hamiltonian act on the unperturbed uh, wave vector or wave function, whatever it may be. Uh, then in the second term. Uh, inner product of uh, psi n zero with psi n zero is equal to one. So you will simply get e n uh, minus e n of one. Now you come to right hand side. See the right hand side first term e n of zero we are taking out because it's a number. Uh, this is unperturbed energy. So you can see the inner product of psi n of zero with psi n of one. This is uh, unperturbed wave function. This is perturbed wave function. So there may not be any correlation between the perturbed Hamiltonian and the uh, un sorry perturbed wave function and the unperturbed wave function. So this inner product will be zero. So this will go away. Uh, then here is second term. Uh, see, you you may not know what will happen when H naught act on this perturbed wave function. Since it's a Hermitian operator, uh, you can act this on the bra vector instead of get vector because your result will not get affected. Uh, because H uh, naught is a Hermitian, we are using Hermitian property. Uh, when H naught act on uh, psi n zero, you will get the uh, eigenvalue e n of uh, zero, e n of zero. So here you can see. The inner product is with uh, psi n zero with uh, psi n uh, one. That is unperturbed wave function and uh, perturbed wave function. So naturally, there will not be any correlation. This will be equal to zero. So the entire right hand side will be equal to zero. In the left hand side, you have the only these two terms. So if you bring this e n one to the left hand side, you will get e n one and this one. Psi n of zero, uh, h prime uh, psi n uh, of zero. So uh, uh, this is uh, first order energy correction. This is fundamental result of uh, first order perturbation theory. Uh, the what is the meaning of this? The first order energy correction is equivalent to this is by definition is nothing but the expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian. So the first order energy correction is nothing but uh, the expectation value of the perturbed Hamiltonian in unperturbed energy state because uh, psi n zero is unperturbed Hamiltonian. 
So we are taking uh, bra vector and get vector as psi and zero. Uh, so first order energy correction is nothing but the expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian under uh, unperturbed wave function. Now we will find the exp expansion coefficient of uh, first order perturbation. This is uh, required to calculate the second order perturbation. Uh, in this uh, case, first order uh, uh, perturbation, we have seen psi n0 is the unperturbed uh, eigenfunction. Hence, uh, we put psi n of 0 is uh, equal to um. We are replay, replacing this wave function by um, that is initial unperturbed wave function. And also we are replacing en of 0 is equal to em. This is initial unperturbed energy. Uh, so that is em. Uh, we have seen that uh, first order uh, energy correction equation is h prime minus en uh, 1 uh, get psi n0 is equal to en0 minus h0 uh, get uh, psi n1. Uh, now, you know uh, this en of 1, en1, first order energy correction is unknown one. And also, uh, first order uh, perturbed energy state also unknown. There are two unknown. So, uh, you can write, uh, expand psi n of 1 in terms of unperturbed wave function in the nth energy state. For that, uh, we are using the uh, completeness property. That is the summation over n, the outer product of un with un is equal to 1. We are using that property. And uh, this is simply we are multiplying uh, psi n of 1 by 1. So this is the meaning of this one. Then, now you take pra uh, uh, un, pra un, and uh, multiply this with the get uh, psi n of 1. Uh, this is uh, naturally a scalar product. This will give you a number. Uh, that number we are designating as an of 1. Uh, this uh, represents the amplitude, probability amplitude of uh, this first order wave function first order uh, perturbed wave function. Uh, so this an of 1, here you have 1, get un. So uh, psi n 1 perturbed uh, wave function can be written as in terms of unperturbed wave function un uh, by using this equation that is summation over n, an of 1, get un. So this uh, first order energy correction equation is this one. Uh, now I am replacing this psi n of 0, uh, that is initial unperturbed wave function as um, get um. Similarly, the perturbed wave function I am going to write in terms of unperturbed wave function un. Of course, uh, I am writing that as summation over uh, an1 uh, get un. At this term, I am keeping as it is. En of 0, naturally em. Initial uh, energy, uh, energy is em. Minus h0. H0, uh, I am keeping as it is. In this en0, I am keeping as em. Just now, I have explained. And I am uh, I'm expanding this uh, psi n of 1 as a summation over n. An1, uh, get to un. So, now you take the inner product with uk and use the uh, direct notation. So uh, this can be separated into two parts. Uh, in uh, direct notation, uk can be written as bra k and um can be written as uh, get m. So uh, the first term is k h prime uh, get m. And the next term I am taking uh, en1. Uh, though it is perturbed the energy state is a number. So I am taking out of the inner product. So when you are taking the inner product, this will be simply k uh, inner product of k with m. That is uk with uh, um. So k with m, um, um, which is equal to uh, summation over 
uh, n uh, uh, which is not equal to m uh, see uh, here i forgot to tell uh, one important point when h not act on u n i will get uh, the energy level e n so uh, that is the reason why i have taken n is not equal to m if n is equal to m then this will be zero entire thing will be zero is a trivial solution so the summation uh, n is not equal to m when n, if m is equal to m this will be zero naturally so uh, the, i am taking uh, that n is not equal to m and when h not act on get e n i am i will get e n so this inner product is the k uh, with the n inner product of k with n yeah, because i am writing u n as a simply get n and u k as a simply k uh, now uh, this uh, inner product k with the n uh, is one only if n is equal to k otherwise it will be zero you know the orthonormal property so uh, when n equal to k this will be one uh, this, uh, otherwise it will be zero the summation is valid only when n equal to k so uh, i am replacing e n as e k for all other term this summation will be zero so only one term exists all other term uh, will uh, vanish so this will become a n uh, n i am replacing by k because it is uh, it is uh, we, uh, we will have non zero value only if n is equal to k so n equal to k i have replaced uh, so uh, a k 1 e m minus e k here also i am replacing n as k so uh, the, in the right hand side you can see e n of 1 uh, the inner product of k with m is equal to 0 so i will get only this term first term uh, k h prime m is equal to a k 1 uh, e m minus e k remember that here n is not equal to m uh, uh, in fact uh, here in this case m is not equal to uh, k uh, so uh, now you bring this uh, to the uh, left hand side then you will get k h prime get m divided by e m minus e k uh, a k of one is it equal to this one k h prime m divided by m uh, minus uh, e k where k is not equal to m uh, k if k is equal to m means this will be zero so uh, this is a trivial so solution again so k uh, should not be equal to m that is there is no degeneracy that is another important point i like to highlight so you, if you are uh, uh, getting the uh, same energy part different energy state means it's a degeneracy here uh, there is no degeneracy k is not equal to m so this is the expansion coefficient using this we will find the second order perturbation now we will see the second order perturbation uh, when we are uh, comparing the lambda square term we got this expression now you carefully look into the equation here you have uh, psi n uh, of 2 here psi n of 2 you bring this to the left hand side so you bring this to the left hand side similarly uh, psi n of 1 you have here here psi n of 1 uh, so uh, when you bring this you will get h naught minus uh, en 0 this en 0 gets psi n 2 now uh, you take the second term here and bring to the left hand side so uh, here you have h prime minus en uh, of 1 uh, get uh, psi n1 here also psi n1 here also psi n1 in the right hand side you have only one term left out that is en2 uh, get uh, psi n0 now you take the inner product with uh, uh, psi n zero that is bra psi n zero so i am taking the inner product both right hand side and left hand side we will see term by term see uh, using hermicity property uh, 
uh, Hutch Nut is a Hermitian operator. When it acts on the bra vector, remember that uh, when Hermitian operator op act on bra vector or get vector, uh, your result will not change. When H0 act on this uh, bra psi n0, you will get an eigenvalue uh, en0. Uh, Here also en0. en0 minus, minus en0 is 0. So the first term will uh, go away. Then the next uh, term, uh, you separate it into two portions. That is psi n0 H prime uh, psi n1 minus this en1. Since EN1 is a perturbed energy, even though it is perturbed energy, it is a number, so I am taking it out. Then uh, the bra psi n0 get uh, psi n1. Uh, then in the right hand side, EN2, uh, when I am taking inner product with the psi n0, EN2, uh, though is a perturbed energy, is a number I am taking out, so you will get like this. Uh, that is inner product of psi n0, psi n0. Now you first take the right hand side. Right hand side, particularly the second term. See, the get vector is a perturbed eigenwave, uh, eigenwave uh, function. This is perturbed wave function. This is unperturbed wave function. So there will not be any correlation between perturbed. Uh, wave function and unperturbed wave function. So this will be equal to zero naturally. So right hand side only this term uh, left out. Uh, sorry, left hand side. In the right hand side, you can see the inner product of psi n zero with uh, psi n zero is one. So this will become en uh, two, which is equal to this one, psi n zero uh, h prime uh, psi n one. So, uh, just now we have seen that is the second order energy correction is equal to bra psi n0 h prime get uh, psi n1. Uh, this is not the expectation value uh, like uh, first order perturbation. Expectation value means both uh, bra vector and get vector are the same. Here it is not so. Now, uh, you know very uh, well we have taken that uh, the initial unperturbed wave function as um i am simply writing that as uh, bra m um in uh, direct notation um can be written as uh, simply m and uh, psi n of one uh, can be written as the uh, using the superposition principle it can be written as a superposition of uh, summation over n a n one uh, get n. Uh, this also we have seen just two, two minutes back. Uh, now uh, a n of one uh, in the first order perturbation theory we have seen a n of one is equal to n h prime get m divided by e m minus e n. Just you replace a n one by this value. So that is n h prime uh, get m divided by e m minus e n. Uh, then this term m h prime n. Uh, so of course uh, when n is not equal to m that we have seen. Uh, when uh, n equal to m that is a, a trivial solution and also is a degenerate case. So it is uh, n is not equal to m. That also we have to take care. Uh, then if uh, you take the uh, numerator. Uh, what will happen here? It is a complex conjugate. If you take complex conjugate of n h prime m, uh, then this will be equal to uh, this complex conjugate will become m h prime n uh, h prime. Of course, h prime star. H prime star is equal to uh, h prime because h prime is a Hermitian operator. Uh, so. Here, uh, H prime assumed to be the Hermitian. So, numerator can be written as uh, bra m H prime get n modulus square divided by E m uh, minus E n, uh, where n is not equal to m. This is the second order energy correction. This is the fundamental result of second order perturbation theory. We have seen for the first order, it is simply the 
expectation value of perturbed Hamiltonian uh, under unperturbed energy state. But here it is not so. Uh, this is uh, in the case of second order perturbation, it's not simple like uh, first order perturbation. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously. Thank you very much.